Hey Vanagon fans, I'm Pat Brown. You might remember me from other YouTube Vanagon hits such as my ZTEC install in 2009, that whole video series, as well as my Arduino and power monitor. Uh, so it's been about two years since I did that, that video. And at the same time, I installed solar panels on my van and I've been meaning to get around to that video. So here I am today. It's a warm February day in uh, Colorado out here. And so today I'm gonna walk you through solar panel system I've got in my van. All right, so uh, now I want to talk a little bit about my motivation and why I wound up with the solar panel system that I did. So I wanted to be able to run my ARB fridge uh, continuously during all the summer months. Uh, and just as a side note, this is definitely not the cheapest or easiest way to have cold beer. Uh, going to the local convenience store and buying ice is definitely a, a better option for most people. But I learned a lot in the process and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so. Most people will put a solar panel up top on the, the van on the pop top portion, but as you can see, I have uh, kayaks and a rocket box up there, and that really doesn't leave any unobstructed room for any panels up there. Which then, in terms of mounting it uh, continuously on the van, which I needed for the 24 7 operation, just leaves a luggage rack available. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to be able to do is I wanted the panels to be removable so I could take them off and set them in the sun when I'm in camp and parked in the shade. And I also wanted to be able to retain access to the luggage rack, so if I wanted to, I could put other items up there, such as a grill or hoses, other uh, incidental stuff. Uh, so as you'll see, the, the system I have allows me to meet all those needs. All right, so uh, as you can see, I've got the solar panels up top here, and from the side, you don't really recognize them because of the fact that uh, they're basically low profile and black, which matches the, uh, the other roof rack components as well as the, uh, the gaskets that are throughout the pop top. All right, so what I have up here are two 50 watt panels. There's one over here, there's another one over here. Uh, they're made from a company called Ramsond. Uh, I found them off the internet for about 150 bucks a pop. It's not the cheapest option, but as you can see, uh, Width-wise and lengthwise, they match the luggage area almost perfectly, uh, which is the basically the constraint that I was trying to match, and that's how I wound up with these panels specifically. Okay, so one of the things I'm most proud of with this system is how easy it is to take the panels off of the system and go off and uh, put them in the sun. But the other thing was that I wanted to make sure they were locking so somebody couldn't just take them off and uh, seal them. So the heart of that whole removability while still being locking are these Thule brand locking knobs uh, that they sell for roof rack components. And you see that right now when they're in that, they just spin freely. Uh, and so at this point the whole system is actually locked onto the roof. Uh, I take the, the key though, go ahead and put it in there, uh, unlock it at this point, and now I just go ahead and twist it off real quickly. And that's it. That's the only bolt that's actually holding the whole panel on. Go ahead and it's off and it's free to, to be used. Uh, so, like I said, that, that's a real nice feature from my perspective. And I, I think that's one of the things that people would be interested in seeing for this. All right, so at this point, I would normally take the panel off, go set it in the sun somewhere. But this is a perfect time to talk about the mounting system that I have on the van. So I'm just going to go ahead, flip it over, and to be able to show you some of the components that are up here to mount the system. So the mounting system consists of three brackets that run front to back along the luggage rack. Uh, one in the center and one on either side and those brackets are matched to fit the panels exactly. Everything's match drilled uh, to both the luggage rack and to the panels. I actually took the whole luggage rack off, brought it into my workshop and did all of the drilling and mounting there. Those three brackets are permanently mounted to the luggage rack, uh, but as you see, they do leave each half of the rack uh, still available for use for storing things like a grill or other things like you see up there right now. Uh, you couldn't put one of those big Pelican cases up there all the way across it though, for instance, but for me, that's just fine. I, didn't, I never put anything that big up there before anyway. All right, so the, the center mounting bar is a it's a piece of T aluminum stock uh, that mounts to the front. 
and then all the way to the back here to the luggage rack. Uh, that aluminum bar it has two roll pins, one there and one there, that help to locate the uh, solar panel front to back. And they're actually the, the primary mounting points for the panel on that side. Uh, you can see at the front, I went ahead and machined out part of it uh, for aesthetic reasons at the front. And then at the back, actually to allow the pop top cover to come down and, and fit in there. Now the side brackets are actually L pieces of aluminum and you see they're held on by a single bolt front and rear and the only mounting hole on there is on the side here and that is a match drilled and tapped hole that holds the toolie locking knob uh, and then this piece right here which is flat down here by the way that sits inside of the solar panel and so then the front of the solar panel fits right here and then what happens here is that when you put the locking nut in here the entire panel is pressed against this side of the bracket and against the center part against the bracket and it's held completely in place really by a compression fit at that point and that's where the real strength of the mounting comes from all right so let me show you how the solar panel gets reinstalled the first thing i do i sort of tilt it up on side I line those two roll pins, drop it down, slide it in place, and as you see, this face of this outer side bracket nests just inside the solar panel, and then there are cutouts vertically. And at this point, it's resting on the horizontal pieces of each of the brackets, uh, but that's that's only providing part of the support. Then I go ahead and I take my locking knob, put it in there, get it threaded up. Tighten it all the way down, put the key in, lock it, and everything is good to go. Shake the whole van doing that. It's a, it's a great bomber setup. So one of the things I'm sure that people wonder about is basically how solid of a mount this is. Uh, so I've been using this for approximately two years now. I've driven over washboard roads almost every weekend, you know, dirt roads around Colorado here. I've driven uh, through really high wind situations with big lateral winds here in Colorado, up on I-80 in Wyoming, which if you've been up there, you know, is uh, pretty gusty. And the, the, the system's remained completely uh, fixed and in place the whole time. There's been absolutely no loosening of any of the bolts. Uh, there's been no damage to the panel in any way. Uh, it, it's a really bomber mounting system. The other thing is in terms of sound, you can see that it's, it's not like it sits uh, flush to anything. There are, there's openings at the front and rear. It's just basically, it's, a, it's like a cover for, for what's in the luggage rack, but it's not sealed by any means. Uh, my opinion, it's not any louder than it was with just the stock roof rack. Uh, that being said, I haven't done any soundproofing to my van, and I am not the, uh, the most picky about how quiet my van is. So uh, my opinion might be very different than yours about how loud it is, but I, I, there's no whistling or any other major issues in terms of sound with it. All right, now, now let me tell you about the electrical connections I made. I'm just using 16 gauge extension cord, which I've hacked up and mounted other connectors on. Uh, the connectors I'm using are sort of fancy. You can't really see there. Uh, they're called Switchcraft uh, connectors. They are a keyed weatherproof connector. And the only thing is that they're fairly expensive. I don't know if I'd go that route again. Uh, I think that there's a lot of other options out there. They're also locking when you go to put them on, which is pretty nice. Uh, so from panel to panel, what I'm using is a short interconnect, basically with a, uh, a connector on either end. Uh, and then on the solar panel itself, what I did was I mounted uh, bulkhead connectors in there. Uh, that was a real pain in the butt. And I would not do that again. Instead, I'd just put a little short extension coming off of either of them and use that with a, a connector on it instead. So then in terms of the wiring of the panels themselves, you see that what I have going on here is I have a, a main bulkhead connector that's going to go back into the van, follow that up over to this panel, 
and then from that panel over to the other one using the short connector. Uh, so these panels are wired in parallel so that the, the current is summing, it's not that the voltage is summing. That's definitely the way you want to wire these together. Uh, the another nice thing about this method of connecting together is that you can daisy chain as many of these panels together as you want. So the other thing to mention is that right now I have a short cable going from this panel over to the main bulkhead connector. Uh, when it's time to move these off into the sun, what I have is a big old uh, 50 foot extension that has the same sets of connectors on it. I just remove the short segment, plug the long segment in and move everything off into the sun. Okay, so if we follow the main bulkhead connector from the luggage rack uh, over to the other side, you can see what I had to do was to drill a hole through the roof uh, to get it into the van. This was definitely my least favorite part of the whole project. Uh, on the plus side, it's never leaked. Uh, it's protected by the, the pop top itself. I've got RTV all spooged in there to, to keep it weatherproof. I've got grommets to protect it from the metal. And so it, it does its job. So let's go ahead inside the van and see where this goes. Okay, so following the wire from where it comes out of the roof, I uh, had to bring it inside the van. It's not easy to route it through that B pillar at all because that's a very structural pillar. Uh, so what I did is I put some wiring loom around it, attached it to the side, ran it down the B pillar, and then it goes behind the stove, and then pops out up there, comes down, and I've got it connected to a, uh, a Sunsaver charge controller by Morningstar. So the charge controller I have in there is uh, from Morningstar and it's a PWM based charge controller. Uh, the downside of them is that they will basically drop a lot of the voltage and not, not use it in terms of your charging system. So the panels like to run at about 20 volts. Uh, your battery only wants to be charged at about 14 volts. And so rather than taking that extra power and converting it into power that can go into the battery, these ones just dissipate them as heat. Uh, so they're, but they are a lot less expensive. So I'm actually in the, the process of uh, about to install a MPPT charge controller. They're more expensive, uh, but they actually will convert essentially all of the power from the panel. So it's essentially like having a 20 to 30% bigger panel uh, just by switching your charge controller. So uh, that'll be fun to make that upgrade and see how it uh, affects uh, my charging. All right, so after that whole big explanation, I'm sure the question you have in your mind is how well does this system actually work? Uh, so I've been using it for almost two years now and have been running the fridge continuously each May through September. And in combination with driving around on the weekends, it's kept my batteries topped off and my beer cold. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, let's take these panels off, set them in the sun and go drink a cold one. Talk. I get to talk to my mother, way up here in this mountain.